Hello, Craig here, and welcome to the tiny tropical garden vlog. This week has seen frosts and more of that heavy rain, but there are some blooms in the garden, and I've been up to my parents' greenhouse to see how the plants I'm overwintering are coping. Keep watching and I'll show you. There's been a couple of nights over the past week or so where the temperatures have dropped just below zero, about minus one or minus two, and you can see there's a real hard frost on some of the leaves. It doesn't look as though it's done too much damage, but most of the plants I've got should recover by the time the summer and the spring warms up. It's this relentless rain that's going to do the damage. It's waterlogging my clay soil, and it's just really stopping me from getting out and doing any work. And as I said in last week's vlog, I just really want to start moving around some of the plants and prepping the soil for this year's planting. But maybe I'm being impatient. I think the warmer winter we've had this year has just got me a little bit over ambitious and overexcited about planting, and I just need to hold my horses for a little bit longer. So while it was raining, I thought I'd stroll up to my parents' house because I'm borrowing a bit of space in their greenhouse. The great thing about gardening is people are extremely generous, whether it's space, seeds or spare plants. Always ask around because if you don't have room for a greenhouse, I'm sure one of your neighbours or friends or family will have a bit of space where you can overwinter some of your plants. Now, as you can see, and I'm sure my mum is aware, she has an issue with collecting tree ferns. You can see she's protected the crown with some straw and horticultural fleece here, just in case there's a hard frost. Her greenhouse is heated, but it's not a fancy pants heater. It just keeps it above freezing. So it's just an extra precaution. And I know my mum isn't the only person with this obsession with tree ferns. I've been on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube enough to know that you lot are equally obsessed with tree ferns. Comment below and admit if you share this obsession. My tibushina has been kept dry and in full sun, and surprisingly, although it doesn't look overly happy, it's still pushing out some flowers. Seeing these short-lived but intensely purple flowers is just really making me want for summer, but I have to be patient. Be patient, Craig. Anyway, the Colocasia Thai giant that I left in its pot and brought up to my parents is showing signs of rot. Luckily, it's just on the leaves that it put out last summer. The stem still looks solid and sturdy, so I'll remove these leaves before the rot moves on to any other parts of the plant or any of the plants around it, and hopefully it will reshoot from this point next summer. And again, we've just kept the soil really dry. We don't water them at all because the plants just aren't growing at this time of year. This one's not one of mine. My mum lifted her musibus dew bananas and brought them into the greenhouse, which means they've kept their foliage and should have a head start next year. They are looking really good. And you can see she's got quite a vast selection of cannas and gingers. They're packed into this greenhouse and I bet they're dying to get out into the warm, sunny conditions of summer. But for now, they're safer kept in here. And this is exactly what I mean. I chopped all of mine down to the rhizomes, but because mum has more space, she can leave the plants and try and maintain that top growth to get a head start the following year. There are so many ways to do things in gardening. You've just got to find the way that works best for you and your space. Or with the space that people are willing to lend to you. And my Colocasia Blue Hawaii is still going strong, which I'm happy to see. So come summer, this should put on a good show again. But that's enough sheltering from the rain for me. I need to update you with what's going on in my own tiny tropical garden. So here we go. That old stick insect enclosure that I showed you in the last video and said I'm gonna upcycle into some sort of glass house or propagation thing is doing its job. It's sheltering all of my canna and ginger rhizomes from the rain and it's keeping the rhizomes nice and dry so they shouldn't rot away. There are a few blooms in the garden, which is good for this time of year. 
I try and spread the flowering season over as many months as I can. Although, that said, when I put this plant in, I had no idea it was going to flower in early spring and winter. But it's done a great job. I planted it as ground cover, and I cannot, for the life of me, remember what it's called. So if you know, please comment below. And the hellebore, which was given to me as a division of a friend's plant last year, has flowered this year. Now, I'm not 100% sure what species it is, and I still need to trim the leaves and do the tidying up to just show off those flowers a little bit more. But just look how beautiful these nodding flowers are when you tilt them up. I know you can get so many different colours and even double flowered hellebores now. They're just so beautiful for this time of year. And I think the foliage looks quite tropical too. So maybe I'll add some more of these. And they're shade tolerant as well, which is a massive bonus. And my Melianthus major, which when the leaves are wet like this, has a really strong aroma of peanut butter, which I love. Crunchy, by the way. This plant is starting to bud up, ready to flower. At least I think it is. I know they have red flowers and there's a fresh new shoot coming out the top of the plant, which has definitely got a red tinge to it. So fingers crossed, I'll get a flower from this. I'll keep you all updated. And there's just a quick update for you from my very wet, tiny tropical garden. Now don't forget to check out my website where I put up plant profiles and articles and blogs and I'm slowly adding to an affiliate shop with links where you can buy plants and seeds. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.